Well, it was a big day here at Catholic Charities. It was almost a celebration, if you will, as clients were able to go back into the indoor dining room. And it may not seem like such a big deal, but staff and clients tell me that it is a bigger deal than any of us can imagine. A day of celebration at Catholic Charities. It's been a lot of work. <laughs> Oh my gosh, tireless, tirelessly, hours of hours and hours. On Tuesday, the nonprofit opened its indoor dining room doors for the first time since the pandemic and just in time for the holidays. You kind of take for granted um, what it's like to be able to go and wash your hands at a sink. Leslie Carmine with Catholic Charity says during the pandemic, they never stopped working. More people needed help, so staff took to the streets and held meals at the outdoor pavilion. But being back inside creates a new level of service. We're able to welcome our clients in to, you know, a little dignity and compassion. Being in the, being in the dining room, it, it, it means the food is fresh. David White is a client and volunteer for Catholic Charities. He says this move helps create a feeling of belonging. You're getting a hot meal and it feels good to sit down and actually have a conversation with people over a meal in a facility that's providing you help. We do have a place to eat. We do have a place to, you know, communicate and, and be a, it's, it's a little small community, but it is a community. Well, now that the dining room is officially open for daily meals, now the Catholic Charities are able to put their energy towards other projects, including the food pantry. We know that's such a crucial thing for so many families in our community during this holiday time. Um, staff tells me that usually by this time they have hundreds, seven, eight hundred turkeys donated, but right now they only have had two. So they're looking for turkey donations, any fixing donations, really any food donations, because they do serve 200 families a day with this pantry. And Kira Kazuka, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.